I mm -hmm. walked out, CNN, right there with the mic. I was hot, and they said, "Do you think, uh, do you think Kamala Harris is a DEI hire?" And I said, "Well, the President of the United States said she was. If you go back and read his statements, he mm -hmm. completely says that." in a statement, I don't have it in front of me, or I, I guess I should, you can go on the internet and find it. But he, he no, says, no, he, did. He, I, he did, he did. And then I left it at that and it had nothing to do. And, and they said, well, do you think it's discriminatory? And I just said, well, look, it, it, I mean, it, it discriminates against all those other people. If you said, I'm just gonna take somebody from this segment of society. And I've always said, my saying is put the best players in coach. And we're clearly mm -hmm. not doing that. Because if the lady who was running the Secret Service was the best player we've got, we've got a real problem. And if you look at Kamala Harris's record, you know, I don't know about the about the uh, prosecutor stuff. I wasn't in California. I'd never been to California, to be honest with you. But the reality is she's been a failure as the borders are. 14 million illegals have come over. I don't have, you, you can just read the papers every night. Somebody's murdered. Somebody's raped. Somebody, right. and it's... And it's happened because of that. She, I don't, and, but and she, not, she hasn't even been to the border, and she's the border czar. She has failed. Listen, Congressman, at that. fair criticism, fair criticism, uh, and demonstrably true. She hasn't been there. Uh, she should have gone. We never heard about what she had assessed of that situation, let alone planned to do about it. All fair. That's why I don't think you needed to bring in the DEI about her or about Cheadle, and good on you for pressuring her enough to resign. And yes, well, Biden and I think Harris should have taken the opportunity to push her out. You're allowing yourself to be painted with the nasty brush uh, because you're bringing up DEI. That, I was asked by the CNN reporter that did I think that the vice president, it was just out of the blue, he said, do you think the vice president was a DEI hire? And I just, I basically, I, I haven't watched the interview, but my thought process was this. The president of the United States had said that. He had said right. exactly what, who he wanted to hire. And he said he was getting pressure from a certain group in the Democrat Party to, to, to do just that. And then he hired, he, 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 brought in the, uh, um, he brought in Kamala Harris, who had called him awful things during the debate, if you yep. remember. No question. I mean, it was there. But, they, you know, they, just they to were, be clear. Were, even I thought that, even I thought they, you know, I just it didn't didn't need to be in that 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 arena because it just gets dirtier and dirtier and it just calluses all everything. And then that's who he picked. I agree. And you got to ask yourself, um, is 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 that why did he pick that particular person? And I. I and but that's my was, question. Was she, was, that's my question was she the to best, you. Was she the best person but, in the whole country? I, mean, look, I could I could go through Congress and go. That's and, not who gets picked. Uh, you know, that's not who always gets picked, though, Tim. It's not always the best person. You think J.D. Vance was the best person? He doesn't look like it right now. Nate Burgum would have looked like a better choice right now to a lot of people guess, based on what you're going to have to do in this election to win. But, you know, you size up J.D. Vance's background and Harris. You've got to pick Harris 10 times out of 10 in terms of their backgrounds, their experience. So it's not like she was unqualified, right? I, well, no, I, I mean, mean, you talk you about know, two things can be true. I mean, J.D. J.D.'s mama was a, a drug addict. He had to live with his, his grandmother. He joined the United States Marine Corps. He fought for his mm -hmm. country. He, he, he went to an Ivy League school. I don't particularly care for Ivy League schools, but that's okay. He went there and he graduated with honors. He started a business. He was very successful. He opposed Trump. I mean, he said awful things about Trump. And then yeah, until it suited him to start doing this. And then he, and and then he turned around. He, got he the turned job. it around. But, but you saw a lot of people on the stage at the convention that showed that that did that, and that told me that it was a big tent. I mean, it might have showed you that they were kissing up to Trump, but to me, it just showed it was a big tent, and they came around to his his line of thinking. So you know, and I think it's because if you don't come racist, around, you lose, Tim. If you don't come to him, you lose. And J.D. Vance won that three-way race for one reason: Trump picked him. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com. NewsNationNow.com. And you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.